art channel without further ado let's get drawing hi and welcome back to the next tutorial which we are going to do i'm using procreate on my ipad pro okay so we're going to be continuing with our christmas collection christmas is coming up and i love all the colors and the sparkle and everything that you can create um, around the christmas theme so today we're going to do a cute set of candy canes. Now these are really quick and easy to do and you can create loads of cool social media posts out of them. You can create your own greeting cards or you know you can use them for your business purposes. Like I said, they're really quick and easy. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up a 12 by 12 canvas. Like I say, before you can do these on whatever canvas that you feel necessary works for you. So first of all, I'm going to change my background color because I'm going to be drawing with my white pen. So we need to be able to see what we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead to my studio pen, which is a free pen from Procreate, which is under the inking section, the studio pen, and I'm going to choose white. Now I'm going to make sure my opacity is turned up and I'm probably going to use about 25% of the brush size. <clears throat> so to begin with, we just there's two ways that you can draw a candy cane and to get the perfect shape, you can either draw a straight line, hold your pen down and then do a P shape. Now you can do it like this or you can draw it if you feel confident enough on its own. So to use the P shape, you're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna outline the P. And this will create the candy shape, as you can see, like so. And then you fill it in and you can erase all of this. And then, you can just smoothen off the edges. So you can use the letter P to create the candy shape. You can also do the letter L. And then you can just flip it upside down and then flip it. You can also do it like so. So just depending on how you feel confident enough to draw you can also use these guidelines so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to draw my candy cane outline i'm going to join these up here like so now sometimes it takes a few trials and errors to get the candy cane size and placement exactly how you want it so i'm just going to fill that in and as you can see it's really thick here which is obviously we don't want so i'm just going to use my razor pen and i'm just going to erase the extra parts that i don't like and then we're going to smooth off the lines. Okay, so we're just going to go back to our pen. I'm going to turn it down, the brush size. And I'm just going to smooth out what I've just erased. just to make it more clean looking. Obviously you can spend more time doing this. This is just to show you. Okay. Okay, so you have the basic candy cane shape. Now we need to add the curviness, the color, and we're also going to add some cute holly leaves to it. And then we're going to duplicate them and make a set of them. So we're now going to go ahead and on the studio pen, pick a red color. I'm going to turn it all the way up. 
I'm going to add a clipping mask. <coughs> Excuse me, I think I've got a cold. Okay, so now we are just going to go ahead and add some red lines, which are going to be going in a curve around the way that the candy cane would be going. So we're just going to do a few of these. Just really quickly. You can make them thinner and thicker. You can do them in different colors. And we're just going to join them up. Like so. Okay, now we need to, I like this, so I'm not gonna change it. I'm just gonna merge this layer down so they're both on one layer. I'm now going to turn alpha lock on and I'm going to go ahead to my charcoal carbon stick brush, which is the one that I use for texture. And I'm going to use a burgundy color, kind of a red deep brown color. And I'm going to choose 9% brush size. Now I'm just going to begin, as you can see the opacity is lowered slightly. If you've been doing my other tutorials then you know that I really like using this brush. I'm just going to come down on the edge and ever so slightly just add some texture in the darker colour. I'm also going to do it very slightly on the other side as well. And this will kind of give it the effect that it's popping in the middle, which is the curve effect that you want. Okay, so I'm now going to go ahead and I'm going to use a lighter red. I'm gonna turn the brush size down and I'm just going to inside of the dark shadow do the red and like I said this is really minimal don't press too hard I'm now going to use a yellow um, probably more of a gold yellow and I'm just going to come with very light strokes again as so okay now I'm going to go back to my studio pen I'm going to choose white and I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 29 now we're going to add just a very small highlight as you can see like so so this gives the effect as if the light is on shining on top of the candy cane and you can see the slight curve that this has created i'm now going to duplicate and i'm just going to make this one smaller and i'm going to move it slightly to the left to the right and i'm going to flip it because i'm going to create a group of these now i'm going to pick a darker red and i'm just going to drag and drop on the red color i'm going to duplicate my first one again i'm going to flip again I'm just going to create it like so. I'm just gonna move the placement of this one. Okay, so now for this color, I'm going to choose a lighter pink and I'm just going to drag and drop again on the wrong layer, um, a lighter 
red pink kind of color so I know you have three candy canes in kind of three various colors I'm just going to merge all of these down together I'm just going to move them so they're in the middle and then going to duplicate this layer yet again now for look is already turned on so I'm going to choose black and I'm going to fill the layer with black. I'm going to turn alpha lock off and go across to my Causium Blur. And we're just going to create a small blur and then we're going to move it and bring it behind the candy canes. Okay, so you have the basis of your candy canes. We are now going to create a new layer on top and in a dark green, we're going to create some holly leaves. So go to your studio pen, turn the size down, make sure the opacity is turned up. <clears throat> and go ahead and just create some spiky leaves like so. And join them and drag and drop. <clears throat> Then you are going to duplicate this leaf, rotate it and create two leaves. Then you're going to turn alpha lock on. And again, using your charcoal brush with a lighter green and a darker green, just go ahead and create some extra texture. It would be good if we merge the two layers together. Make sure alpha lock is turned on. And then just, okay, turn alpha lock off. Go back to your studio pen and choose a red, which is going to be the berries. And just do two small, or three even circles for your berries. Choose white and then just go ahead and just do a small highlight on the berries with the white. You can now move this and place it on top of your candy cane. Like so. Duplicate it and do it with the remaining candy canes. Now, obviously, you need to resize them, depending on the size of your candy canes. Okay, so there you have the candy canes with the Christmas decoration. Now, merge these three sets of holly leaves together and duplicate it. Turn alpha lock on on the bottom one. Again, choose your black and fill the layer with black. Turn alpha lock off and duplicate this black layer. Now on the top one, go ahead to your Causium Blur and just blur it slightly so you have a dark shadow. I'm going to turn the opacity down and I'm going to do the same on this one. I'm going to go ahead and do a blur I'm on the wrong one. Okay. Like so. I'm just going to move it down. And then I'm going to bring this layer. And I'm going to click on clipping mask. On top of the candy canes. So as you can see. I've now got a darker shadow where it sits on top of the candy cane. And then a lighter shadow as it's further um, above on the top. If that makes sense. I'm now going to go ahead and create a new layer and I'm going to bring it all the way to the bottom. Now on the elements brushes, you have a snow brush, which is really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and use white and I'm just going to create the snow background as so. And there you have three cute candy canes with holly leaves. 
So if you haven't watched my previous tutorials, go ahead. I've done a whole module on woodland animals. And then this next module is going to be on cute Christmas clip art decorations and fun drawing. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me in creating more and more, more and more free videos for all of you out there. So if you want to come and join my Procreate group, the links are in the description. I'd love for you to be a member of my group. We can share awesome ideas, tips and artwork also please don't forget to tag me on instagram so that i can see what work you've created from this awesome tutorial so love to you all and i'll see you in the next video